Instead, I just needed the gospel truth that Jesus Christ, the Son of God incarnate, lived, died, and rose again, and invites us all to share in that resurrection. Slowly but surely, trendy churches lost their allure for me. The thing about trends is that while they may come on strong, they always fade. Trendiness in the church did just that in my life too. When I really needed to hear the hope of the gospel, I did not find it in church growth strategies or in the bells and whistles that ministries use to go from being simple community churches to becoming mega in nature. Nope. Instead, I found deep, profound, abiding hope in the Word. The Word that is simultaneously the Son of God Himself and the Scriptures which testify to His miraculous nature. The Word that has been handed down through the ages, from generation to generation, century to century, people to people. The Word of God stands not as a fad of a passing moment, but the timeless foundation of transcendent realities. A foundation that is deep, rooted, enduring. We hear of the word of God through the prophet Isaiah this week. Our first lesson says, For as the rain and snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent. The word that emerges from the Lord's mouth, we are told, is to be trusted to bring about its own ends. It does not need to be dressed up to look more appealing jazzed up to seem more entertaining, or propagandized to force it through the masses. Instead, the word of God that goes out from the Lord's mouth is to be trusted to accomplish what the Lord intends. The word is like the rain that falls from the sky to water dry fields. It is a nourishing force which generates hope, comfort, and assurance upon those who encounter it sinks into our souls, raises raises us up from deep within, and gives us hope that God is always preparing a better future for those who live and those who die. The Word of God is good. We do not need to do anything more than keep preaching and teaching it, and that the Word of God does indeed accomplish all that the Lord intends. May the word of the Lord accomplish great things in your life this week, just as it has moved heaven and earth and the promises to do so for all time to come. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, this is our Lord. Amen. We continue with sweet hour of prayer on 53 in your Bible.